What's up Squadron 7? Welcome back to another video. The day is finally here. We've been waiting for this for the longest time. Ever since they announced the release date of The Mandalorian Season 2, we've been clamoring day in and day out for like, when was the trailer going to drop? Please give us the trailer. And it's finally here. So now in this video, I'm going to be reacting to it. So right off the bat, we're obviously expecting to see some kind of tease as to whether or not the rumors we've been hearing all this time were true. Um, we've heard rumors about Boba Fett with Tamara Morrison uh, reprising his role. We've heard rumors of Bo-Katan with um, Katie Sackhoff reprising her role. And we, of course, have been hearing rumors that Rosario Dawson may be cast to play Ahsoka. Now, I don't expect them to show all of these characters if they, in fact, are in season two. It would blow my mind to see some kind of hint to them. So after we react to this video, uh, which we'll do in just a few seconds, here. I'm going to go through the trailer again and try to find some Easter eggs and see if we missed anything in our initial reaction and go from there. So let's start. Here's the Razor Crest. Looks like it's damaged. Show me the one safety deemed such destruction. You must reunite it with its own kind. Where? This you <laughs> must determine. The songs of eons past. Baby Yoda! Battles between He's back! Great and an order of sorcerers called Jedi. Whoa, wait. You expect me to search the galaxy and deliver this creature to a race of enemy sorcerers? Who is that? This is the way. Holy shit. There's Cara Dune and Greek Karga again. You know this is no place for a child. Wherever I go, he goes. So I've heard. Oh shit. Gosh! October 30th. That was great. I think I saw everything that I needed to see. The hype was just the right amount of hype. Of course, the child is back. The child, the all important baby Yoda, which no one's going to object to. So here are some things that I caught in the trailer that I think we should pay a little bit more close attention to, or at least speculate upon. So the trailer opens up to the Razor Crest, very heavily damaged and maybe adrift or maybe struggling to land on a planet after some kind of tussle or some kind of ordeal. But then the next frame is the one that gets me because the next frame is on an icy planet. Now, this could either be Ilum or it could be Hoth. But given the timeline that we're in about five years after Return of the Jedi, I can eliminate Ilum because we know that the remnants of the Empire are rebuilding in the form of the First Order and they are housing at the moment on Ilum to build the Starkiller base. So that leaves Hoth, but that especially leaves the icy planet that Ahsoka was on at the end of the Clone Wars. And then this frame in particular kind of reinforces the fact because in the background, you can see that there is some kind of rebel dropship um, right next to the Razor Crest, which could suggest several things. It could confirm that this is the planet that Ahsoka was last on with Rex before they split up. And that rebel dropship was, of course, part of the remnants of the ship that crashed in that last episode. And I think at this point, we're going to see Din Djarin following tracks or following clues and possibly pick up a trail on Ahsoka herself. Then we get more shots of a lived in galaxy, which is always amazing. We see a dock with some Quarrens on there. Um, we can probably speculate that seeing Quarrens on the dock is probably Moncala. Then the exposition 
kicks in the armorers talking about the Great Mandalorian War, which is for all intents and purposes still, at least in detail, a Legends concept, but canon in name. She's talking about the Mandalorians and under the leadership of Mandalore the Great facing the Jedi, which kind of canonizes small bits and pieces of the Mandalorian War, which is always awesome. But all this exposition is happening in conjunction with the revelation of a hooded figure. Now, obviously this is not Ahsoka because we do not see her blue and white Leku or even her Montrals on top of the hood. And that's not Rosario Dawson. That is in fact, Sasha Banks. And one of the things that was speculated upon earlier on when Sasha Banks was announced for Mandalorian season two is whether or not she could be playing Sabine Wren. And given the context of the exposition that's happening as the hooded figure is revealed, I have no doubt in my mind that that is Sabine Wren, just because of the exposition tied to the fact that she is closely related to a Mandalorian Jedi in Tar Vizsla. And then we get a couple of frames inside a Star Destroyer and the Lost Stars fan in me is just screaming in Flickr, but that could also be Moff Gideon's Star Destroyer. And then of course this funny scene right here where Baby Yoda is watching Din Djarin take care of a few baddies. He's summoning the whistling birds and then Yoda's like, peace out, I'm out of here. I know what's about to go down. So hot take, season two is about Din Djarin searching the galaxy to find a trace of the Jedi to deliver the child to. And of course we get confirmation here with the exposition. You expect me to search the galaxy and deliver this creature to a race of enemy sorcerers. Now, did we see Ahsoka? No, but for all intents and purposes, given the context of what this season could be about, finding the Jedi, I have no doubt in my mind that we'll cross paths with her. We already have the Mandalorian angle and we also have the Sabine Wren and Bo-Katan angle with the Darksaber, potentially. Now we have this crumb, this sprinkle of information about Din Djarin going to find a race of enemy sorcerers, or in this case, the Jedi, and that leads all the way to Ahsoka. But of course, that's all speculation at this point. We don't have confirmation of either, we just have this trailer to go off of, and that's all of the things that I uh, caught while watching the trailer. If you found something else in the trailer that I missed, leave it in the comment section down below. That was my reaction and, you know, subsequently the breakdown of the Mandalorian season two trailer. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoyed my reaction, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and if you want your questions answered on Star Wars in general, you can find me on TikTok underscore element seven underscore. With that said, I'm ending the video, and as always, may the force be with you.